Hey guys, it's Kirgil again with another ROM review and this time I've got Ultima ROM V16 Typhoon. Yes, there's the new version of Ultima ROM which is the successor to the V15 Titan which was one hell of a customizable ROM. Now, what is changed in this one? Okay, first of all, uh, this is based on the latest uh, firmware from uh, Samsung. So, it is based on the 4.3 Android, which is XXUGML2. So, that is a really fast firmware. It's a really smooth one, so it's really awesome. Now, um, first thing which I want to address in this ROM is that it's kind of like a Google edition ROM. So, everything is uh, stock Android-ish. So, there won't be, there, there aren't much elements which you would recognize from uh, Tetris. So, the theme is a AOSP theme, the icons are KitKat theme. So, that has to be kept in mind. Uh, it kind of reminded me of Black Box ROM, which is an AOSP slash SAMI ROM. So, yeah, that's uh, something which I wanted to talk about. Now, let's go into uh, settings. So, you can see even the uh, the status bar has been changed to resemble the AOSP style. It's actually, I, ha I have activated Gravity Box, but even without activating Gravity Box, it is, uh, it is kind of like the AOSP, true AOSP with only the five uh, options. So, yeah, that's there. Let's go to settings. Now, the settings is still like the uh, touch with, so you have all the tab settings. Pretty cool. Let's go to about device. Now, first of all, you can see it is 4.3 Android. Um, the build number is this one, ML2. So, yeah. The font is actually very small font I guess the settings has a customized DPI setting so that's there um, rest of them are similar to what you would expect from a uh, touchless ROM so there's nothing too much different about it but what is different about it is the amount of whatever is in here so you can see what all are the apps which you get so I've only installed them to do benchmarks so rest of whatever you're seeing here is pre-installed on this ROM it does even have Cronus clock with the new new one which is this one which uh, is pretty cool it has all of these features so you can see it is 3.4.2 latest version click there to get the professional version if you have a key so yeah you have all these options there it tries to make everything AOSP so that's something which you have to keep in mind so if you are a fan of the Sami theme this is not a one for you okay now it has a lot of apps it even has all all of the Google apps including Google Sky map which I found was uh, hilarious so you have all of these pretty cool uh, the real heroes are these three settings I'll get into that uh, you even have USB mass storage enabler if you don't want MTP when you connect it to your PC you can use this one to just use your SD card uh, you use your phone as a SD card reader, so that's pretty cool. It does have an explosive installer, but you have to um, flash the. F uh, you have to actually uh, in click install the uh, frameware frameworks uh, after you flash the ROM. It's not installed by its own. I have installed the from uh, frameworks, and I have also enabled Gravity Box. Then first, at first, when you start Gravity Box, it will crash because the frameworks are not installed. So keep that in mind. Now let's get into the uh, real stars of the ROM. Now, first of all, you can see Ultima downloads. It has a lot of features. I'll get into that later when I have um, network coverage, maybe. What else is available is Ultima's ROM settings. This has a lot of settings. Now, first of all, we have app settings, which are for the uh, numerous apps with which it comes. You have Adobe settings, downloads, USB storage enabler settings. So you can select those. These are basically shortcuts to the app. Uh, I guess it's a long cut. I mean, okay. You have faster GPS setting. You can select your uh, location to have a faster GPS. Um, coordinate lock you have super su ultima rom ota which is really awesome you can download uh, the newest rom through the ota exposed installer gravity box everything can be accessed through here let's 
check out the other ones okay you have boot animations boot animation you can select without without uh, uncompressing the zip file you can just select the file and see the animation before you flash it and you can even enable disable boot animation from here so that's pretty cool you can have that one so that's real uh, call settings you have a few options here first of all call recording it does have call recording conference call recording or conference calling you can have whatever you want pretty cool ringtone increasing volume ringtone on so uh, Samsung touches ROM has this feature right when uh, while the ink the while the phone rings the ringtone increases in volume so you can turn it off or on whatever you want it's off by default um incoming calls auto record for incoming calls you can get auto recording auto recording for out outgoing calls remove recording info so yeah it will not show that it's recording on the screen incoming call notification and call delay and you can restart the phone after you set all these settings so that's neat you have blocking mode icon so if you are using blocking mode it will show the icon on the uh, status bar so that's there uh, call settings. I guess these are available from the um, call and actual settings, but yeah, this is available. These are cool. You can see all of that. It it can you can enable noise reduction and stuff like that. So pretty cool. Um, kernel settings. Now it depends on what kernel you are using. From the Aroma installer, if you have seen my uh, installation guide, you can see there are a few kernels to choose from, namely uh, Boeifla kernel and Yang kernel. So if you choose any other kernel, I have been a moron and choose, chose the uh, stock kernel, therefore I don't have any kernel settings enabled now. If you choose uh, Boeifla kernel, for example, it will uh, flash the uh, Boeifla app, also Boeifla conf uh, config v2 app with it so that you can use that one. So when clicking this one, you will go to that. So it's pretty cool. I haven't flashed it, uh, so yeah. You can see lock screen settings now. Lock screen setting you have first of all um, what you saw maybe saw was not the AOSP lock screen, but this one has AOSP lock screen. Let me show you guys. I've disabled the disabler of AOSP lock screen, so you can see uh, it is AOSP style lock screen, and uh, you can see the handle. The lock handle is what I chose in the installation guide. So you can select the lock screen handle. So that's pretty cool. So this is the Ultima Droid. It's pretty cool. So you can lock it. Now you can disable the AOSP launcher if you want the uh, Samsung launcher. So that's there. So let's see. Um, you can see. It does have a few effects. What I'm using is the watercolor effect which is pretty cool. It is from the Note 3. You do have other effects like light effect and ripple effect. So that's at the end also ink effect. So that is there if you don't want to don't want any of these. It's pretty cool. You, you can in, uh, enable zero wake lag, but that will in, uh, decrease a bit of battery life. It's something which you must uh, take in keep in mind. So yeah, Samsung settings, uh, whatever you find in the uh, lock screen settings of um, your settings. So mod settings. Now this is uh, changing the device host name. Change the um, host name of uh, your device as it appears on network so you can change whatever name appears so yeah that's pretty cool um, I haven't used it I, I'm not I don't think I'll use it so yeah uh, status bar setting you can select the status bar color whatever here now it's black right so you can select white or grayish or whatever so it's changed so whatever you can select the color of the status bar so that's pretty cool um, what else do we have I guess you can even select the transparency yeah you can select the transparency too now it's fully transparent hmm. uh, Wi-Fi setting again you can change the Wi-Fi band to 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz if you have a router which can use 5 gigahertz for streaming HD content or something like that you have you can use the 5 gigahertz band so that's pretty cool now that is it with the Ultima Droid settings. Now, uh, granted, the Ultima Droid settings isn't as intrusive as as intuitive as the previous ROM, and I found it to be a bit um, of a letdown. But it still does have a lot of the things which V15 had made us uh, like that ROM. So it's pretty cool. 
uh, battery life I wanted to talk about is that the battery life was pretty cool. I haven't used the phone too much, but uh, for five hours, this is the curve. So you can see uh, this is was my usage. So you can make your own uh, conclusion of that. The battery life was acceptable. I'm not sure. I would say it's pretty cool or it's uh, over the chart. No, uh, it's acceptable. So yeah, I guess that much is it for that. Let me show you guys the unto the benchmark which I got. So with the unto the benchmark, I got a score of eighteen nine eighty two, which I would say is pretty good for a stock kernel. So I guess if I had used another kernel like the Boyfla kernel. I might have gotten a bit more than uh, 19500 so yeah it's mo it's a it's a higher performing rom than the rest so that's pretty cool um so yeah uh, this uh, this being a google edition rom it does have a boot animation of the google edition i'll show you guys that no shutdown animation so yeah So here is the boot animation for uh, Ultima ROM V16 Typhoon. Nothing much special, it's the Google Edition boot animation which is available in a lot of ROMs, so it's nothing special I guess. So I guess that is it about the ROM. Um, again, Ultima ROM has been known for its ability to offer a lot of stuff for the end user and this one does not... Um, fail in that regard so that's pretty cool um so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye